Hi everyone, Dr. Lazelle here. Today I will be going through the steps of final finishing and polishing for anterior resins. I will be using a slew of Cosmodan products and I'll go through how to use each step by step. So for my finishing and polishing, I'll be using the Cosmodan FlexiDisc Mini Kit. This kit is a set of aluminum oxide discs and it comes in an array of coarseness. We have the coarse grey discs to start, then you usually follow that with the medium blue discs, the yellow fine discs, and then lastly for that final luster, the pink super fine discs. I'll be restoring number eight with Renamel Microfill. It really holds its polish and polishes just like natural tooth structure. So we're going to be using the coarse gray discs at first at a speed of 10,000 RPMs. With this disc, the key is you really want to use light pressure. It is for gross reduction and for the initial contouring of your restoration. So here you can see the restoration on number eight with the SB2 Renamel Microfill. And I'm just gonna start off using that gray disc with very light pressure. I really want to buff out all the imperfections and get my initial shape of the tooth, the shape of the line angles, length, etc. Just going from gingival to incisional, just really, really getting where the restoration meets the tooth so that I don't have any discrepancy with that margin. That's gonna help give me a nice long lasting restoration with minimal staining. I'm also starting to get my line angles, make sure everything's nice and flat and smooth. Really, really flattening out that incisional edge there. Getting a nice straight edge, good contours. And the nice thing about these discs are they come in an array of sizes. So for my central incisors, I like to use a large disc. It's more efficient for me, but if you are working on a smaller tooth, you can use the medium sized disc or the smallest size disc that there is in the kit. Again, you can see I'm using really light pressure here. Really just buffing out those edges, really getting a nice smooth base that I can just polish off after, contouring that edge, rounding those corners. Now I'm just about done with my gray disc and I'm going to move to my medium flexi disc. This is for the completion of my finish, it really helps remove scratches and I'm using it at 10,000 RPMs. You're really going to put a lot of flex and pressure on this disc and that is how you're going to get the magic. So take a look. Look at that pressure and flex I'm putting on. I'm really pushing on that slow speed. I'm using this blue disc to really refine and contour everything I just created with my gray disc. careful around your gingival margin. Typically you'll use a 3 8 disc fill around your gingival margin just to reduce any trauma to the tissue. Really wicking my line angles with that blue disc and getting everything nice and precise. The nice thing about these discs as well is they're very unlikely to cut the adjacent teeth. You can really see that flex I'm putting and that pressure. I really love that these discs are color coded as well, so I'm never guessing what order I need to go in. I know it's gray, blue, yellow, and pink. Again, just take note of that flex. So now I'm just about done with that blue disc and I'm gonna move ahead with my yellow. It's my fine disc. This is gonna be at 10,000 RPMs again, and this is the beginning of the final polish. So I'm really going to be using a lot of flex and pressure here. These discs are also available in regular sizes and mini sizes too. You can look at that flex, you can really see how hard I'm pressing and I'm basically making the disc almost parallel to the tooth. 
really really using a lot of pressure it's not going to take a lot of passes along the tooth to do this making sure there's zero discrepancy between where the restoration meets the tooth so that I can have the longest lasting results as possible and the most natural looking results as well I really love these discs because you can get into the embrasures and polish those embrasures because everywhere needs to have a high luster when your patient's flossing you don't want there to be anything preventing a nice smooth snap with that floss now i'm going to be using the pink super fine flexi point uh, these points come in both medium which is blue and pink which is super fine and i'm going to be using it to really create those lobes on my restoration to mimic the natural tooth structure you can see that I'm going from incisional to gingival and creating those lobes with my point so that the wide base is at the bottom closer to the incisional, just like it is in the natural tooth. I'm really taking my time. I'm using a moderate amount of pressure, not too heavy, just to get those lobes going, really swooping up and down. I'm just trying to make it look as natural as possible. I'm also going to use the other disc though, just to smooth out what I just created so that there's more of a rolling appearance like hills versus something that was intentionally placed on the restoration. Once again, just so that everything looks super natural, like the rest of the teeth in the mouth. Again, I'm just creating those lobes and you want to be using light pressure with these points. Now that I've completed my lobes, I'm gonna use my pink Superfine Flexi Disc to really enhance my final polish. This is where the magic happens. And I'll be doing this at 10,000 RPMs. This is where you're really gonna get that natural luster of the microfill. It polishes so beautifully. And I'm gonna be using pressure. Really, really flexing that disc, making it parallel to the tooth structure and swiping it from left to right, up and down and getting that nice final polish so that the light reflects on my restoration just like it does on natural tooth structure. Again, you can see that flex I'm really, really putting on that disc. And I'm also gonna be polishing my line angles a little bit more because that's how it is in the natural mouth. The line angles get a little bit more friction along them so the light tends to reflect off of them more because they're a little bit smoother. and really polishing everywhere, every aspect of the tooth. I want every single part of my restoration to have that luster. Even the incisional edge, even the contact points, even the embrasures, everywhere. at that you can really see that shine coming through the way the light hits it it's really starting to take its form to take its life and be beautiful 
Now we're going to do the final step, which is polishing with enamelized paste. This is an aluminum oxide paste, and I'm going to pair that with my Flexi Buff disc. This is a disc that has felt on the bottom, and it, this is really where you get that magic. So I put a little bit of the paste on the tooth, less is more, and I'm going to use my Flexi Buff disc at about 10 to 15,000 RPMs, and I'm going to use pressure again to get my final polish. You can see those lobes really coming through the way the light hits it and this paste is just the icing on the cake here. And just like the flexi disc, this flexi buff disc also gets into every nook and cranny. And you want to make sure that everywhere is very highly polished for the long lasting restoration and also for comfort of the patient. So I'm just about finishing up here. So quick recap, to finish and polish, I used the Cosmonet Flexi Disc Kit. I started off with the gray coarse disc, followed by the blue medium disc, then the yellow fine and the pink super fine. You're gonna use a lot of flex and force with the blue, yellow and pink disc, and then you finalize it with your enamelized paste and your flexi buff disc, which you also use pressure on. The before and after of the final product with number eight restored with renamel microfill sb2